So we end up with, now all the units can just cancel out because they're the same units on both the left and the right hand side. So now do we just plug in the x plus dy? So now we just have two equations and two unknowns and we solve. Yeah, so what would be the first thing we can do to solve this? Uh, solve the, or make it x equals I, I, yeah. 2 minus 2y. Yeah. We can use the substitution method. And now we can plug that in over here. Oops. That's in moles. Pardon? What O2 is in moles? That's, yep. what that's no problem. Grams before. I'm sorry? And you have grams in the other equation. So, so we're Yeah, let me talk about that again. Mole. There is nothing that says that the units in one equation has to be the same in the, as the units in another equation. All that has to happen is that um, the units on the left-hand side of one equation has to be the same as the units on the right-hand side of that same equation. But there's nothing that says that we can't have one equation about moles and one about grams. There's no paradox there. Um, this is an equation about grams, and this is one about moles. But let, let's put it this way. Notice that at this point, all the units have canceled, right? No, it's just the grams problem. have all canceled from here, and the moles have all canceled from here. So neither of these equations has any units left anymore. So we don't need to worry about the units anymore because all the units are, have canceled out. Um, here was grams, here was grams, here was grams, so those all canceled. Here was moles, here was moles, and here was moles. Um, so that canceled. Um, we figured out that this number of moles is 0.02 minus 2y, and we can just plug that in for x over here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. For some reason, my goal my answer, I think I. I was off by two decimal places, so like, I was divided by... It's because we want mass percent. I know, I even oh. times by 100 and I was off. But we'll see how this works out. What did you got y to be? Y, I got point oh oh four nine. Okay, yeah, same. Okay, I, I got up to here, I don't know how to, how to do it. Okay, where are you going to go? You solve for y? Yeah. Okay, so now that you have y, you need to get x, or you should get the percent with y first. Yeah, how do you get the percent with the percent? Well, you, you take that number, you divide it by 1.512, and then you multiply by 100. So, oh, okay, get in grams. Okay. I got that y is 202.7. What? What? I could have oh. made a mistake. That's not what you guys got? No. Nope. Wait, no? Nope. Hold on. I could have made a mistake. 16 divided by 0 0.079. Yeah, I think you did the division. I did the division wrong, thank you. Because you have two y's there. You have 0 0.078. Right. So the 16.01 y is right. The 0 0.079 does not have a y. There we go. Thanks. And then you should have y equals 0 0.0049. There we go, that's better. Point oh oh. See, but now when you find the percent of C two O, you get point four nine. No, you'll see. You div you divide that by one point five one two and multiply by a hundred, but you get you're off by like you'll see. So when I figured out the percentages, I got one is three percent, the other is six point five percent. Wait, don't we have the answers to this? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's 50.3% CUO and 49.69%. And we got that wrong. But I got, I understand up to the grams, but we got that way wrong. So I got 0.7 grams of copper 2O. Is that what you guys got? Uh, Where'd you get that? Well, oh. we know that we have 0 0.0049 moles right. of copper 2O. And we know its molecular weight is 143, so I multiplied no, these two moles numbers. Per gram? Grams per moles, whatever. Wait, what was y in terms of? Why was it? What was the units for y? 0. 0.0049 moles. Remember that we originally defined y as the number of moles of Cu2O. Okay. So y rep represents 0. 0.0049 moles of Cu2O. So you multiply that by 143. So you put it in grams? To put that into grams, that's right. So it, it seems to me that this number of moles uh, we're going to have for every one mole of Cu2O, we've got 143.09 grams of Cu2O. So I got 0.7. So 0.7 that grams of Cu2O. That's right. Yes. Good. And now we only need one more Subtract step to finish. 1.512 minus 0.7. 
and you get 0.812. We know that these two masses have to add up to here. So we don't even need to bother figuring out x. We could have done gone right. out and figured out x, but it's faster to now just that, to see that these subtract. two numbers have to add up to 1.512. Okay, and then you divide off, those though. by the total and times it by it's, it's still off though from the answer. This comes out to be. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. 53.7%. Okay, <laughs> That's okay. fine. And this would come out to be 46.3%. That's not what the uh, the answer was fifty point three one CUO and forty nine point six nine percent. That's a pretty big uh, difference, but uh, hopefully it's just a rounding uh, deal. So there was a lot of calculations there, so the rounding errors could uh, add up. Uh, but if it's a multiple choice test, there should really only be one choice that's close enough. So are those my answers the same answers that you guys got? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but but okay. we all followed you, so. <laughs> That worked. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this I turned out to be very that. similar to that previous problem that we did with just the one extra point that the y moles of this translates into twice as many gram, uh, twice as many moles of copper atoms. But we did them both the same. So yeah, I would recommend uh, doing those two problems again because there's lots of steps and it's easy to get confused. And one thing that seemed to be bothering you guys a lot were the units in the equations. Yeah. Um, but the key thing is, once you make sure that the units on the left-hand side of the equation balance with the units on the right, you can just go ahead and cancel out all the units. Okay. And then you don't need to, need to worry about that the units part is anymore. Yeah, that just, uh, it's true that we had one equation that was based on moles and one that was based on grams, but there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You just ha can't have a single equation that has grams on the left and moles on the right. They have, it's, it's a single equation that has to balance. But the point of 049 was in terms of uh, moles. How do we know that? Because when we originally defined Y, we defined that as moles. So it's very important to remember what your definitions are. That's right. right. And like I mentioned a couple of times, um, I just recommend uh, redoing on your own the questions that were difficult for us here together because it, oftentimes something makes sense during the tutoring, but it's easy to, to get stuck in the middle yeah. of the problem. So. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box thank you